Welcome to the Independence of the Seas. This is Jason here. I'm going to do a full walkthrough ship tour. I hope you enjoy it. This is an amazing ship. It's one of three. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off on deck 11. I'm going to give you a quick preview. To the left is the solarium pool. Right here is the main pool area. Toward the back here is Splashaway Bay and Fish and Ships. And then all the way to the back is the buffet area, Chops Grill, and Giovanni's. Let's head on back toward the middle of the ship and take a look at the main pool area. The main pool area consists of two pools. There is the sports pool and then the resort pool. The sports pool is where they play water volleyball and have special events such as the belly flop contest. And over in the resort pool is a more relaxing area where people like to chill and hang out. There are a few hot tubs here in the main pool area. There are a couple of hot tubs over by the stage. The stage is right in the middle of the two pools. From the stage, you'll enjoy live bands. Also at night, there will be dance parties. During the day, it's a lot of fun, especially on a sea day because the bands will come in and play awesome music so you can just relax and hang out by the pool. Also on that big screen, you'll be able to enjoy movies under the stars and special events. Directly opposite of the screen, also in between both of the pools is the pool bar. So check it out. There is a bar right here on the main pool deck and there's also another bar directly above this one. It's called the Sky Lounge. I like to come up to the Sky Lounge and grab a drink because it has an awesome view of the huge screen right there, the live band and the pool area. Let's go ahead and take a look at Splash Away Bay. It is right behind the main pool area. This is an amazing area for tots and tweens. Here you'll find plenty of fountains, cannons, pools, whirlpools and all different kinds of stairs and places to run around and jump on a lot of kids like this area not just because it has awesome slides but there's a really cool pool area here there is a bucket that dumps thousands of gallons of water on their heads throughout the entire cruise they have little slides they have a huge yellow slide a medium-sized green slide and a smaller slide for little toddlers and another thing that they really enjoy are the two whirlpools just for kids. Over in the corner, which is perfect, is where you'll find the soft served ice cream. So the kids love to come over here and grab an ice cream while they're playing in the aqua park. And then in the other corner, take a look at this. This is fish and chips. This is one of my favorite places. It's so convenient just to walk over here and grab yourself a nice plate of fish and chips or try their shrimp. Right behind Splash Away Bay is the Windjammer Marketplace. When you first walk in the Windjammer, you'll go right into the Plaza Bar. It opens up at 7 a.m. and is a perfect spot for a morning pit stop to grab an espresso or an alcoholic beverage. The Windjammer Buffet area is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and it is included in your cruise fare. Did you know that there are three ships in the Freedom Class? This is part of the Freedom Class, and there is the Independence of the Seas, the Freedom of the Seas, and the Liberty of the Seas. They're all pretty much identical. And if you wanna book either one, make sure you give me a call. You'll be so happy that you did. Is what we do is, is we always offer you an additional promotion than what the cruise line is offering. It's amazing and our clients love it. And by doing that, we always give you the best rate guaranteed. Just keep in mind, to get the best rate guaranteed, you must give us a call. We offer unpublished rates that you cannot find on our website. To the left of the Plaza Bar, right here at the entrance of the buffet area, is Giovanni's. This is the Italian restaurant. This is part of the specialty dining. And what's amazing about Giovanni's is that they make their own pasta. Also, if you like, you can get a delicious pizza. Across the way on the other side of the Plaza Bar is Chops Grill. This is the steakhouse. This is also part of the specialty dining. When you think about specialty, just remember, it's just an added option. There are plenty of in included dining venues that you can enjoy. Let's head on more toward the front of the ship. Can you believe that we're not done with the pools yet? This is the Solarium Pool. This is an adult only area. 
It's a perfect spot for adults to come, relax, unwind, lie in the sun, and grab a drink. There's a really cool bridge right here at the end of the pool with comfortable stools under the water. There are nice comfortable loungers that are on either side of the pool and a really nice walkway which takes you right into the pool when you're ready to cool off. I recommend that before you begin to relax, head on over to the Solarium Bar and grab a drink. You can either hang out here at the bar and sit on one of these stools or you can just grab a nice lounger by the pool or head on over here to the Whirlpools, which has excellent views of the ocean. Let me give you a quick preview of the upper decks. Right here is the golf course. Over here to the right is the solarium pool. Right here is the main pool area. Right behind that is Splash Away Bay. This is Johnny Rockets. And all the way to the back here up the stairs is the Flow Rider and the Perfect Storm water slides. And then if we keep going, we're gonna run right into the basketball court and the rock climbing wall. Let's start off back at the front of the ship and take a look at Independence Dunes. This is the mini golf. It's what I love about Independence Dunes is that you do not need a reservation. You can just come on up here, play some golf and have an excellent time. And let's head on past the pools and go toward the back of the ship Let's take a look at Johnny Rockets. This is a retro style diner and a fun place to enjoy a tasty burger, french fries, or a nice chocolate homemade milkshake. It has perfect views of the ocean and an excellent spot to just relax and have a nice meal. Let's go all the way to the back and take a look at the water slides and the flow rider. This is the flow rider. The fun part about the flow rider is that you can either lay down or stand up. If you stand up, it's a little bit more difficult, but if you're not used to it yet, you can start off laying down and then kind of work your way into it and then eventually stand up and serve. There are also a couple of really cool water slides in this area. These are the Perfect Storm water slides and they're really cool because you get to race against your friends. What's really important to know is that before you come back here with you or your kids, make sure that you sign the waivers. It's a lot more convenient to sign it beforehand than when you're standing in line and they send you back to sign it. This is a really, really fun area and you're gonna have a lot of fun back here. Just make sure that you follow all the rules, sign the waivers and get ready. Now, if you wanna play basketball or go on the rock climbing wall, keep in mind that you're also gonna wanna make sure that you wear shoes. Do not go with flip flops, especially if you want to play in any of the events that take place on the basketball court, like volleyball, dodgeball, or paddle ball. Let's head up a couple of decks and take a look at Olive or Twist. This is a nice little relaxing bar slash nightclub. During the day, it's a relaxing bar to hang out in, which has awesome views of Splashway Bay and the pools. At night, you can come in here and there will be music, dancing, and a wonderful atmosphere to enjoy the company of friends. Let's head on down to the lower decks. We're gonna start off right here at the Royal Promenade. I'm gonna give you a preview. Right here is guest services and the champagne bar. Right past that is Ben and Jerry's and Cafe Promenade, then Vintages. Over to the left is Ale and Anchor. Right past that is Sorrento's. Then all the way here at the front is the Star Lounge. So let's head on more toward the back of the ship. We're gonna take a look at the Champagne Bar. Because what I love about the Champagne Bar is that usually this is the first place that you're gonna come across when you first get on the ship. And I always get a drink here. Right across from there is Guest Services. If you have any questions or just need some general information, make sure you stop on by. Let's tour the rest of the promenade. Over here is Next Cruise. While you're on board, if you're thinking about booking your next cruise, make sure you stop on by. They offer amazing promotions while you're on board. Right next to next cruise is Cafe Promenade. This is a complimentary venue which offers snacks and coffee. You can grab a croissant, a piece of fruit, a cake, a cookie. It's very convenient and it's right here on the promenade. Right across from Cafe Promenade is Sugar Beach and Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream. At Ben & Jerry's and Cafe Promenade, there is seating right out here on the promenade, so it is a fun place to grab a snack. Right over here is Vintages. This is the wine bar. 
there is a cozy little bar right over here so you can grab a stool and enjoy a glass of wine or you can sit in one of the comfortable love seats and chairs across the hall up a little bit is ale and anchor where you can enjoy a nice pint of guinness at this british style pub while you're enjoying your guinness keep in mind that at night there is live there is plenty of seating here inside, but if you like, you can also sit out here on the Royal Promenade. Also here on the Royal Promenade, which is a favorite among cruisers, is Sorrento's. This is the pizza place. All the pizzas are made fresh to serve. They're always open till late, so it's an excellent spot for a late night snack. All the way here at the front is the Star Lounge. This is used for receptions, theme parties, karaoke, and a lot of other types of entertainment. You can either sit up here at the bar or grab a seat at one of the tables and chairs. Right here is the library. They offer board games and cards, so if you want to come in and read a book, play a game, play some cards, this area is available for you. Let's head down the deck to deck four. Right here is Boleros. Right past that is Playmaker Sports Bar. Then the Casino then Schooner Bar and Izumi, and then all the way here at the front is the theater. Let's go ahead and take a look at the main dining room. The main dining room spans three decks. It is 100% included in your cruise fare, and there are a few different dining times. There's an early time, there's a late time, and then there's my time dining. If you do an early or a late dining, then you're gonna have to choose a specific time. If you do my time dining, then you can go in any time that the restaurant is open. Right in front of the dining room is Boleros. This is the Latin nightclub. When the Latin nightclub gets going, you'll hear it from all over the ship. Right in front of Boleros is Playmakers Sports Bar. Here is where you're gonna come in and watch all the major sporting events. You can also play pool, foosball, arcade games, or just relax and have a drink. Right in front of Playmakers is the casino. It's a full service casino, so you'll find slot machines, card games, you can enjoy roulette. There is also a bar where you can relax and have a drink. The casino is always a perfect place to come, relax, and hang out a little bit at any time. Right in front of the casino is Schooner Bar. Schooner Bar is lively at night. A piano player comes in, plays all those beautiful songs that you love to sing along with. The atmosphere is electric and everyone is just hanging out and having a great time. This is Izumi. This is the sushi place and a bocce grill. If you enjoy sushi, they have all different types. You can sit up at the sushi bar or you can sit at an abachi grill where the Japanese chef cooks the food right in front of you. Right in front of Schooner Bar is the theater. Here you're gonna enjoy magic shows, musicals. You'll also enjoy activities here. And when you book an excursion with the cruise line, you're gonna meet up here in the morning. Let's head on down a deck to deck three. We're gonna go right through the art gallery. All these artworks are for sale at auction. So stop on by. Over here is Focus. This is where you'll find the photos that the photographers took of you while you were on board the ship. Just swipe your card and all your pictures will show up. Over here is Studio B. This is the ice skating rink. You'll enjoy ice skating shows throughout the cruise, but also on sea days, you can put on some ice skates yourself and go ice skating. Let's head on up to the gym and the spa. Right here is the gym. It's a full service gym. It's humongous. They offer spinning classes as well. You can also get into a yoga class. My recommendation is that the first day of the cruise, you come on in and see all of the activities that they have available. If you don't want to participate in any of the activities and just want to work out, there are plenty of machines, stair masters, treadmills, and free weights. Keep in mind that when you go into the gym, there is a changing room, which actually has a sauna and a steam room that is free of charge. My favorite word. Right above the gym is the spa. When you first walk in over to the left is the hair salon. Ladies, you can get your hair done or get a nice pedicure. 
If you'd like to enjoy a spa service, they offer many high quality services such as acupuncture, meta spa services, and massages. Thank you for joining me on the tour. This is Jason. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give me a call. My number's right there on the screen.